Okay, this is how you absolutely know that that is Earth. I.e., note this here. This is from A ahead, and that is Earth there. And this is Venus there, and Mercury is over this way. And you can go back to the 20th, 19th footage or whatever, and they'll show you that Mercury's over here. They just angled out to be able to see Earth doing what it's doing here. And I don't know if you see that you can pretty much see the moon in this shot, too. And remember that we go counterclockwise, Venus rotates clockwise, okay? So as you watch Venus here, Venus is clockwise, Earth is counterclockwise, everything else that we, the planets that we know of, uh, now I'm not going to say exactly for Neptune, Pluto, and Uranus because they're in the darkness, and remember that we had that footage that I'm going to be going to and make a video, maybe this holiday season, uh, between Christmas and New Year's, of that satellite roll that we've seen, in it, and that was on uh, ahead, and it could roll back and seen Uranus, Mars, Stereo B that we're going to go to now, and i.e. note this here, and then I'm going to come back and show you that you don't have to worry about, see, it stays tight to Venus's magnetical, okay, the meatball, the cowboy meatball, down here, and then it, it keeps rotating because it's in the solar system, you see. Of which solar system? Mm -hmm. Yes, the connection between our solar system and what? Because this is in our solar system right now. Okay, this meatball, and it comes around. We've seen it. Plenty of people and have been watching Soho f ever since the Soho in Beacon and Sechi and and uh, Lasco, all the branches of the military. These satellites. Okay. Now that is the shadow of Earth. There, our magnetical as our rotation. Okay. Okay. Sun's over here doing CME. Then we'll take in your basically and not at the shot I want, but for editing purposes real fast. I need to just bounce between this one, because basically this here, the sun's over here to the left, and we're at B. But as we get our landmark, this here is our landmark that we're gonna zoom in on because basically Earth is over here and it's marked. Okay, they marked Earth here. And that's us doing our counterclockwise. See, counterclockwise. It's turning counterclockwise. If you watch it, it's counterclockwise. It's us. It's Earth. That's you right there, sitting on your couch or <laughs> your computer. On, yes, as we scroll across. You don't miss this landmark. It'll be there, okay? Basically, it's a galaxy or whatever. I'm not sure if that's Pleiades or not. I don't really care at this point in time. But it basically, no matter what, there's H1b, okay? And then we go back to, I'm pretty sure, and there, there you go, and there's the sun on the other side. You see, we're over at Ace. So from there to B, to the other side, you see, that's that over here on A, okay? And that's correct. You don't see Venus because Venus is out of the shot on this here. Venus is where? I'll show you where Venus is at. Venus is up to the right where I was showing you where it was. You see this light that's hitting the magnetical from this side? That's Venus up there. Basically giving this magnetical the light up. When you see when it's dark, it's getting it from Venus. Okay? Because Venus goes clockwise. Okay? Let me go back, scroll back across. There's your landmark, and there's, and then we flip the coin, and here we are over at Ace. Okay, so that is Earth doing that there. Now we're going to zoom in real fast. Now it stays tight to Venus. Okay, doesn't hit its magnetical. You'll get see a little bit of the meatball doing a little bit of thinning out on that, just a little bit. Some kind of presence of energy down there, a little bit. You see that the blackness gets there a little bit on it? Okay, so it's real tight to Venus. So then we go up here, and we get the top of the meatball. And you can see the energy out in front of this thing, its path, because it's been there before. Yep, it'll miss Earth. There's the magnetical shadow of Earth. Remember, Earth's way up the ladder, too, okay? And we're going to show you the, more than likely, I think, and because I'm going to do it live, well, it's recording it live on tape today. My time, Central Standard Time, is over here all the time.
Okay, and this is from the 21st, I think, or the 20th we got, because the, there is one of the, can't remember which one, you don't get in the 21st right now. Yeah, we don't get the 20, you only get the 20th on, like, uh, let me pop it real fast. We only get the 20th right here. Let me pop down real fast. Boom, what do we got? We only get, oh, we got the 21st there. It's B, I think, is basically you can only get the, uh, so there's a lot to keep showing you because we get basically all of a sudden they opened up Sechi so we could see all this stuff for good reason I would figure because basically it's good for me to make a video like this basically actual factual check that out that it stays tight to Jupiter I mean to Venus rela I'm so sorry I don't have time for editing that is Venus's magnetical line it stays tight to it okay and it, it will keep coming and it's not going to hit Earth okay I'll even get the edge of the bottom directly, well, I'm pretty much on the top of it right there. You see barely, it's not going to hit Earth. And then also up at Earth, because the moon is directly there, so as you can kind of see that bla black in the flame, it's not flames, it's just electrical, magnetical, okay? The sun's energy, okay? The sunlight as we do our rotation, okay? Yes, one side of the Earth is cooler than the other, okay? Now, Europe, Russia, yes. The heat stops at basically the Middle East, pretty much, okay? Atmosphere-wise. It's just our clock rotation of Earth. It's more than just the equator, okay? So, is we are perfectly safe because I'll get right on the little black splotch there so that's the center of earth pretty much right here the center of the earth is pretty much on the line here and as you can see you have to go a dang long ways to get the meatball in there and that's millions and millions of miles in between there okay we'll give you a distance between and you just, just barely see the top of so and you can see the energy path as I go down here you can see the energy path of this thing in the past and out in front of it, just like our coronal, it's right here. It's about as high as it's going to get. Okay, that's about as high as it's going to get right there. Okay, and as you can see, that's even below down there and below Earth. There's plenty of room. Okay, been doing it for billions of years. NASA knows this stuff's out there. Space cowboys. We don't talk about that. Okay, the meatball. All right, that's one of them. We've found that other one before. Basically, you watch this footage, and it, oh, I'm just why I'm here. Let me show you the 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 light off of the sun. It's reflecting up here. Now they're kind of covering it up, as you see. On it's not just the stars, okay? Because it's all the way and it's huge and it's the sun. It'll come down in size a little bit, and you'll notice it. It'll stay up here. You see that glow? Glow. It's the heartbeat of the sun. Okay, heartbeat of the sun. But since we're find, finding all the planets by seeing all the CME action, NASA's been darkening the shot up so that you don't notice the the heartbeat as much as you can see the heartbeat. Watch the heartbeat right there. You can see the heartbeat of, I'm just basically calm. We know that the sun, whatever, doesn't have a heart. Hmm, prove it. <laughs> whatever. You see, the, the luminosity of the sun, it's daily, 24 hour, because basically we're 24 hours on this. We got 24 hour footage. Now, there is times when I show you the short that we don't get 24 hours of footage, okay? And then there's going to be a lot of interest in what is getting blocked here, as you see that there's blocking, okay? It's hella far away. Basically, the Venus doing its thing up behind here, and I've showed that in the other video that I'm going to upload. We're going to have to get into showing you the, the role of the satellite and so forth and so on. But as you know, as we have this for a landmark, you know that's the sun over there doing that. We scroll along. You got Earth there. Uh, you don't get it. If you go to the earlier dates, you will get Venus and Mercury in this, but basically Venus and Mercury are hit up here right now. That's why you don't get it on the current shot of here. They're out because they're basically up here. So when we found all those planets, and basically you can see these magnetical lines that are in the solar panel. Yep, all that stuff's there on all those magnetical lines that I was showing. So there's a lot more in our solar system than what NASA lets us know about that's in our solar system. Aliens, forget it. I'll stuff one, okay? I told you that. I can do it too. So this is the meatball. There's Earth doing its thing. And now we're going to zoom in on the moon. What, what I'm kind of, I could be wrong. There's always a possibility. I'm human. 
So we're going to go ahead and zoom in. Oh, actually, i got to bring up the screen first. We'll get up 999, and we'll see what we can see with... Uh, get rid of this. Okay, got screen zoomed down to 999. Now what we need to do is slow it down and see if that is the moon that's making the little... Yep, in the electrical as we go, go by. That's what keeps the moon locked in with us, our electrical magnetical. Okay, these are not flames. This is actual electrical energy that you're seeing, okay, from outer space, okay? So now we're going to go down and slow it down. And we'll show you that this is where we're at. There's Earth doing its thing. Sun over there and the comet basically is still there. And you're going to keep on seeing it because it's going to move this way. It's going to arc out here way be out beyond Earth. That C2012 uh, X4... Okay, as you can see, it's starting to go behind the magnetical line. It's going to begin to be behind the magnetical line of Venus there. Okay, so I'm going to slow this down. And then we're going to zoom up, save some tape time. I'm going to be zooming back in because we're going to go 999. It takes a lot of tape time when I end up doing this like this, but so that you know that that's what we're looking at. And we'll be able to get up here and take and watch and see what we can see. And I can point with this, and then we might use the magnifier. But remember, when I use the magnifier, I can't... So we can see stuff, and I'm wondering if we can even, since it's a massive distance, so are we actually seeing some of the... Uh, because I'm trying to remember the name of the... the large... orbital that we have. Anyway, you're seeing Earth. This is Earth, so... So it's the magnetical, and remember we're counterclockwise, and then the shadow shows after our magnetical whips around, and then there, the moon should be in that there. I'm going to try to zoom up more and slow it down just a little bit more. Okay, I got slowed down pretty good, and we're still at 999, so we should be watching to see what we can see of the moon, and how it get, basically gets drugged behind us, like we get drugged behind the sun at more than 66,000 miles an hour, and sometimes considered it to be our high peaks when we're seeing 500 mile an hour uh, solar weather wind, more than likely we're probably traveling at a good 70,000, or up right at 70,000. We average 60,000 miles an hour th trip through space following the sun. Okay, that's the shadow of our electrical magnetical. And the, yep, let's slow down so all of what you're seeing, everything is somewhere within the quadrant of the Earth. And there comes our magnetical back around. And it's just a highly magnetical state we're at right now with our 365 days. And somewhere there should be more than likely the moon, and probably like right about there for doggone sure. And then, uh, and then basically you've been seeing the what you've been seeing around the moon, kind of like a blue halo, so forth, an arc, big, lately. It's our uh, magnetical, uh, Earth's magnetical in the Van Allen belts in our solar system right now. Uh, because basically you can see all the cowboys, <laughs> the meatballs, <laughs> and everything in space up here. Okay? The beef cowboy meatball right there. And then in the footage from also on remember this and I think I got it on fast play and now I don't have time to edit and we'll get back to uh, there the darkness of basically and also Venus and Saturn eclipsed each other towards the Sun and there's there's a shot that I can end up showing you from NASA too in the future on that and some more videos in the future because it, Venus did that I think on the Saturday the 20 or the 21st or the 22nd they did that and let me show you real fast. Basically, you need to go to NASA, and you can end up seeing. They got the pictures of the transit of Venus, and they've seen it from Cassini, from basically because that's up observing Saturn, and then it was in transit with uh, Saturn, Venus, and the Sun were in transit. Okay. Freeze and read this on full screen. Because no matter what, something close to the Sun, pretty much the same side as Venus, transited the Sun on that date there, the 18th, because you've seen the footage of it right there, okay? 
and it's close to the sun between Venus.